Hello Cancers, it is AD with Cosmo Astrology and I'm going to be doing your Zodiac reading guys. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm so happy to have you here as we grow and expand. Welcome back to the channel if you're old and welcome to the channel if you are new. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and let me know what you think of the video. I appreciate all the feedback guys. I fiend for it. So if you're willing to give it, I'm always willing to receive. All right. So thank you guys so much. Just a quick disclaimer before we get into your reading. Please keep in mind that I do subscribe to sidereal um astrology so my placements could be a little bit different than yours so you should be watching this video if you are a western sun in cancer or a western moon in cancer or if you are a sidereal cancer cancer rising or a cancer moon okay so that's a lot to take in. I think that everybody should be familiar with both sides of their chart just for equal perspective. If you are interested in astrology, I do have a Vedic astrology video in my description box. So please check that out if that is something that interests you. Uh, but yeah, anyways, if you identify as a Cancer, you should be here. <laughs> In any way, shape, or form, in sidereal or western, you should be here if you find yourself with uh, Cancerian placements, okay? So without any further ado, let's go ahead and move into the actual reading um, and see what spirit has to say to our Cancer energy peeps. But thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, and I'm happy, I'm happy to have you here. Yeah, so let's see what we got going. Um, oh, yes, and I almost forgot. Please, please, please stick around if you're interested in an astrological breakdown at the end of this video. Uh, this video is timeless, but the astrological breakdown at the end of the video will help back up um, the themes that we find in this reading. Uh, also, yes, again, that'll apply more if you are here for your sidereal placements. But if you're a Western, then please feel free to stick around because it might offer extra insight. All right, so this energy is really stubborn, guys. I wasn't planning to keep shuffling, but your energy is really stubborn already. Yeah, so we're starting off with the Princess of Wands, Aries energy. So, <laughs> right, all right, let's let's fill it out. Okay, thank you. I was like, wow, this is taking a long time. We got the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so patience. Okay, so with that, the way that I just kind of felt that, it's like a rising frustration, Cancers. Um, it almost feels as if you're you're trying to do something very clearly. You have a very clear objective, but at the same time, it's not the right time uh, for you to act. And so I do sense a little bit of frustration. Kind of like childlike frustration with the page energy. Always gives me like child energy. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, two of wands, the ten of swords, even more Aries energy. Yeah, Mars and Aries energy. So it does feel like you're trying to take control over something um, for sure, but it's just not, it's not the right time. So let's look into it. The Hermit as your middle card. Not surprised to see that. The Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, I'm getting a, I'm getting a vision. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm seeing the pictures come through. Yes, the sun. Okay, really happy to see this. And then finally, last but not least, get one more card. Alrighty, the four of swords. Yeah, this is a, this is a reading. Ah, but beautiful cancers. The wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. So this is changing. It's just a process. But I completely understand your frustrations. I want to start there with being like cancer. I completely understand your frustrations. But let's go ahead and. And dig into your reading um, so we can build a be better picture. So Cancers, off the rip, like I said, just drawing emphasis to this first line, Princess of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands, there does seem to be like a frustration. There's an aggression that you want to channel, but it's not the right time. The Saturn and Taurus is telling you to, to back up, um, to wait, but Definitely, you're going to be rewarded in due time. It's just not the right time. The middle line that we have here, the Ten of Swords, the Hermit to the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like some of you Cancers, you could have been wanting a job. You were either you could have been recently released from a job or from a group project, um, which has been very frustrating. It seems as if if that's the case, you guys had like different visions and different directions and what you want to go. And I feel like with the Mercury in retrograde that's present, the Mars that's conjunct, it just over it over it over flooded whatever project that you were trying to accomplish um and this could be in relationships but i feel like this is more work uh related so there could have been a partnership or something that was ended absolutely so you kind of entered into this hermit mode waiting for the next idea to plant you know waiting for the next 
yeah, I guess fertile soil to plant this, this seed that you have. Because whatever it was that you created within the context of other people, um, it's going to work for you. It just feels like the people that were aligned with you had to be taken away for some reason with the Ten of Swords. Could have been a clash of egos. You're just coming at different different, you know, different perspectives. Um, and so it was hard to maintain and keep up that relationship. So that's what I'm kind of getting from these corners. And then we move into the third, the third line, the three of pinnacles, the sun to the four of swords. Okay. So there is a dream team. That's what I just heard. There's a dream team, Cancer. There's a dream project. There's a dream collaboration. It is going to come in, but a in there is this four of swords there's not a lot of action happening this makes sense because when i'm posting this video there are two mercury's currently in retrograde venus is currently in retrograde um so and we're in capricorn season overall so when i'm posting this everything is opposite <laughs> of your natal of your natal cancer placement whatever that is because we're in capricorn season so it almost feels like you're in this mini eclipse you like want to move forward but you're but you're being called back you know it's time to stay back you know in your soul that it's not the right time to act but golly it's so freaking frustrating because if you could just do what you wanted to do then everything would be taken care of but it's just not the right time so if you're watching this when I post this, March is going to be the month of release. For you, I'm honestly getting April with the four energy here. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I feel like Mar the end of March, early April is going to be when whatever it is that you're working for starts to take form. But protect this energy with everything that you have. It's almost like Jack and the Beanstalk. It's just like, I'm giving you a golden seed. You'll know when it's time to plant it. But cherish this seed. Cherish this idea. Cherish this business, you know, whatever it is that you're working on. Cherish it with your life. Because when it comes time to plant it and for to receive the, the comings of it, you are going to be magnificently grateful that you did. Okay. Um. So, yes, let's look at, at your outer corners. So, the Princess of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. This is the frustration that I'm talking about. This is the pent upness um, that I'm talking about. Clashes of egos, not really being able to to express. I'm only I'm almost getting an energy of like a temper tantrum, and it could be from you or it could be from other people. But and it could be personal. There might not be anybody watching it, but I just get this energy of a of a temper tantrum where it just feels very chaotic emotionally. You have all these things that you want to express, you have all these things that you want to say, but you can't quite get it. So you're just building up, and there's like you know tears, and you're like clenched fists, and you're like, you know. But I just feel like in that case, I'm always a strong recommender of taking a nap. Um, recalibrating yourself, resetting yourself, because I do feel like frustration is definitely the word that comes to mind for this reading, Cancers. This is not an easy time, but I do feel like it is absolutely going to end. The Ten of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles to the Sun. When the time is right, okay, Cancer, listen to me. When the time is right, you will be so happy and so grateful and you will feel so blessed and so fortunate um, that everything moved at the pace that it did. Right now, with the hermit being in the center, you are in the dark. Um, and I've, perhaps you feel really isolated and you don't even see what the next phase is because you're just like, man, I was really dead set on whatever it was that I was working on to work out. It's just not the case right now. Um, but this internal life that you have, I, I freaking adore it because it really does show emphasis to stability. Um, and that you're going to be able to nourish whatever it is that you've been creating for yourself. And I think that that's, <laughs> that's all anybody wants to hear. Am I right, Cancer? <laughs> so let me see if I can get any more energies. But this was pretty open and shut. Yeah, you're going through this period of isolation. But it's going to pay off in the long run with the Sun card. I think that you're giving a lot of much needed attention to self. Um, and to figure out what your next steps are. And if something that you had before fell through in the beginning stages, how can you improve on it? Uh, when you get the opportunity again, I feel like whatever ended up happening, whatever failed, um, has really just brought you clarity with how you want to carry yourself next ways. You, you know what boundaries that you're going to be drawing when it comes to collaborative projects from here on out, which is stunning in my opinion, because um, you're definitely standing up for yourself. And yeah, like I said, just protecting your ideas at all costs. But, but everything's changing, but change takes time and change is slow. So there is like a silent revolution. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I feel like there's definitely a silent revolution. That's going to be the name of the reading. So let me write that down before I forget it. <laughs> there's silent and slow revolution, okay? And it will not be televised. So 
I say just hang in there, uh, my cancers, because it, it I love the sun here just brightens up this entire reading, even though there's definitely an energy clash that's happening right now. All right, so now we're going to look into your Lenormand um, cards. We're going to be looking at your mind, heart, and then your actions for the month. So what's on your mind? Yeah, a lot of choices, a lot of options. Let's see what comes out with it. Snake. Mm-hmm. I feel like if something fell through cancer, particularly with work, it was in your best interest because this the person that you could have been trying to conspire with was actually conspiring against you or it just wouldn't have been fair in the long run. So I feel like whatever, you know, rejection, rejection could sometimes be divine protection is what I'm hearing. So consider this, consider this option that you could get what you want now and then be stuck in a crazy situation in your on your mind. Um, and, or wait until the right opportunity comes through and then be able to, you know, flourish, but you have free will, you know? And so spirit is saying that this is a right reminder that of free will, uh, because it, this kind of gives me a feeling that on your mind, you at least perceive it, that this situation can be retrieved and revitalized in some way. Spirit is recommending that you let it go, move it a different direction. You're going to be blessed. But I can understand how if you're just like, you know what you're comfortable with. And so you end up going back into an old pattern. So it just depends. You have free will. I'm not here to judge. I'm just saying that there is an option here. And if you follow your heart, which is telling you to move forward with the ship and clover, um, there's a blessing on the other side of this. This really echoes the sun card that I was talking about. You will be able to find the co the collaborator the collaborators that you've been looking for and that you've been seeking spirit is willing and ready to answer this prayer um it's just a matter of divine timing when the 3d and the 5d align in perfect unison for you to feel the blessings but it's already happening if you decide to go back to what you know because that's what you were investing in then that is your choice but i would recommend that you follow that you continue to follow your heart because your heart is clearly telling you to move forward with the shift and clove with the ship and clover here all right, so now let's look at your actions for the month. Book, uh-huh. Really echoing that hermit energy. Um, it almost gives me high priestess energy also. Yeah. I do feel like, and then at the bottom we have a letter, so you are going to be receiving some sort of information possibly. Um, but I feel like if this information does come, it's kind of what triggers this. So be on the lookout for information and, and listen to it. So I do feel like there's an inner chaos with the book and whips here. You're not in a position um, to necessarily speak and be too boisterous right now. Um, when it comes to your decisions, because I don't think that everybody's going to understand your decisions and support your decisions, but you're here, you're getting this message, you're getting this warning. Um, and I think that it's a, a really good time for you to talk to your spirit guides, talk to your angels, because you can make a decision again to choose to leave the situation. The, the more private that you are, the more to yourself that you are in this upcoming uh, time frame, Cancers, the easier it is going to be for you to move forward. And so you should know that. This is not a time to have a whole bunch of insight. We saw that clearly with the Hermit card. And so Spirit is just backing that up with the whip to the book. You have to keep this to yourself for sure. Um, and so keep your options open and keep your options a secret. When it's time for you to act, when it's time for you to plant that beanstalk, right, you will know that it is time it'll be so clear and so evident from the universe but now is not the right time when this video is finding you and then i just want to show emphasis with the snake clover and whip here this is a beautiful combination because you're going to be able to overcome really challenging energy i'm telling you you might not believe it but the person or the thing that you were trying to align yourself with it was not right it is not right i cannot express that enough it is full of snakes vultures you know just not good energy not good juju and so spirit is protecting you from whatever it was that you're about to walk into so it is time for you to take a step back and it's time for you to be grateful because you are actually going to be headed towards the blessing of the situation and you're going to look back on this period of time and you're going to be like oh thank goodness i dodged a bullet thank god you blew it thank god i dodged a bullet i'm so over you baby good looking out you know i just definitely get that energy um when this as this is presenting itself to me so very clear message cancer let's look into your oracles but we're blazing through it because i mean this is pretty open and shut case closed this isn't even a whole lot to talk about ain't no time to talk um so we have balanced spirituality and practicality and like i said 
open yourself up to your spirit guides and the guidance because I, you know, what I'm learning as I'm growing in my own spirituality and all that good stuff is that, you know, you have free will, but God, the universe, however you identify, ordains and blesses certain avenues. And then he just allows other ones. So it's just like you can go down the path that is blessed or you can go down the path that you want to go down. That's your choice. But I'm telling you, there's a blessed path. And so continue to be in communication with spirit as you decide what, to ne what steps to take next. But right now, the, the, the advice is for you to rest my cancer energy deep knowing you already know this. Four, three, we got seven. So it, it, another independent energy, another defensive and guarded energy. Excuse me, but you know this. This is just a confirmation as all tarot reading should be. I should never be telling you anything that you don't know. Um, and so you're being guided to, to rush. You're being guided to take a step back. And so listen to that instinct that's telling you, hey, this is not it. W yes, it sucks because you were rejected, but mm, there was something a little f fishy about that and I knew it. Re Take your ego, remove your ego uh, from the rejection that you're feeling right now, especially with the sun card. This is almost a separation of ego um, is what I'm getting. And then heal the ouch, three, eight. Um, and that gets us to 11, which is two. So it sucks. <laughs> like I said, this is rejection. I know I'm probably, I'm not doing enough justice to the pain. And as cancers, you're very sensitive signs. <laughs> I'm a Cancer rising in Western astrology, so I say that with a lot of love, uh, but I am a Gemini and Aquarius and sidereal, so, you know, I'm very um, mental, <laughs> but I'm a moon, I'm going in on myself, but I'm a moon on my on Macarca, which kind of makes me an honor honorary Cancer to an extent, so anyways... <laughs> Enough about me, but I just want to say that I, I understand and I feel where you're coming from, but I also want to say that yes, it freaking hurts and you have time to mourn. Spirit is giving you time to mourn whatever didn't work through, but Spirit is also saying that, listen, that was in your best interest. You will see it later, but all you have to do right now is to heal Take a moment, take a breather, keep in con con conversation, communication with your spirit guides, ancient ancestors, however you identify, and follow the path that you know in your intuition to be correct. And that's when you're going to land on the pot of gold. Point blank, simple, cut and dry cancers. Um, so yeah, so now we're going to move into your astrological analysis. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're a uh, Western Cancer or choosing to tune out now, it was such a pleasure having you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, and please drop a little cancer emoji for me in the comment section so I know that you're here. Uh, but let's go ahead and move into your astrological uh, placements and see what we got going. So Cancer, your Sun, Mercury, which is in retrograde, and Saturn are all conjunct in your seventh house. So your relationships are being called into question. Also, any contracts or legal situations could be brought to the surface. There could be an ego clashes in your one-on-one -on -one relation due to miscommunication. Be mindful to listen. Remove ego before you react. Jaw-droppingly accurate to what this reading just said. <laughs> And I promise you, I actually did this reading, like this analysis, almost four days ago. So I forgot what it said. So it's scary how accurate this was. You see astrology and tarot, they go hand in hand. Anyways, all right, moving on. Just had to just had to brag for a second, Cancer. That was ridiculously on point. All right, um, not about me, but about spirit. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Um, so then we have Mars and Venus in retrograde, Sagittarius in the sixth house, all right? You could be dealing with some health issues or be feeling very body conscious. This is an opportunity to get active and reevaluate re your health routine. Not a recommended time for surgery, particularly cosmetic. Be careful. Your day-to-day -day routine could be frustrating. Don't let stress give you health issues. Relax. It could show up in skin conditions, okay? So you need to relax. That's what we said, relax. There's frustrations on your day-to-day -day routine. It's this conjunction that's happening very clearly, Cancer, okay? So you're you're right. You're right in the money, okay? But you're going to be able to get over this, all right? And then we got Jupiter and Aquarius in your eighth house. So you could be receiving a financial windfall with your with money you didn't earn. Um, think settlements, marriage, divorce, or lottery. You could be more interested in occult practices. Great time to learn tarot or inv invest in spiritual health. So some of you guys could be finding this video for the first time. You know, you never were into tarot and this is like one of your first times engaging. If that's you, please drop a comment. Um, but for others of you, if you were interested in learning the practice yourself, then please look 
look into it. You know, um, it's, it's a lot of fun. I love it. It's, it's really made me stronger in my faith and in my practices. Um, so I highly recommend it happening. Uh, I highly recommend it happening for you and you, you learning it. If, if you're being called to do that, you never know where it could lead. Um, but yeah, so that's overall what I got for you, Cancers. Really touch, really frustrating reading. You know, you're in a frustrating time, but it's nothing that you can't overcome. You are definitely blessed and you're headed in the right direction. The Wheel of Fortune is going to turn in your favor soon enough. Okay, guys? So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter if you're interested. Um, I post really fun things on Twitter. Um, just some of my thoughts about astrology are any of that good stuff. So if you'd like to kind of see me in a different way, I highly recommend following me on Twitter. And then Instagram is really fun too, guys. So check me out on there. But I just want to say thank you so much for your continued support. Um, and yeah, don't forget to drop your little cancer emoji. I appreciate you. Mwah. Peace. Until next time.